Hi Pisces, welcome to your message they need you to hear or your message you need to hear for October 27th through November 26th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. Love and support to her, check her out. Show her some love and support yourself if you like what she has to say. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Pisces. What do we got? Some message for Pisces. All right. I'm down here. Might need to get some water. Star. Okay, so we got lovers here. Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. This is Aquarius. This could be Cancerian, Queen of Cups. Uh, Magician, Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. Queen of Pentacles. That could be Cancerian. Sorry, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. The Devil, Capricorn. Knight of <laughs> Pentacles, Taurus. All right, let me get the little guys here. Eyes are watering. Fan's not helping. Okay. Are you two both kind of taking this time out to see what's what and see what to do next? So we got Queen of Cups, that's Cancerian, and Queen of Pentacles. Oh. Capricorn twice. Five of Cups, Disappointment. Is this someone feeling like they need to get their life together or they need to get out from under the weight of this relationship? What's this star card about? Or is it you, Pisces? If, okay, what's this star card about for Pisces? What's this star card about? Ten of Wands. Okay. What's this magician about? What's this Queen of Pentacles about? Eight of Cups. Okay, so I think this is someone trying to figure out how to be happy and trying to figure out their life so that they're not it's almost like they want you to know they're working on things so they're not going to be a burden anymore but um mm. this is someone trying to make life happen for themselves and they're happy and they want to be happy and it was just the relationship for them was just simply too much work and they're they're kind of restructuring their life right now whether it was their own personal life or the relationship with you it was too much work so that's not to say that you're too much work or that you're the burden but they they had some figuring out to do and it probably presented in the relationship but it's you, the relationship wasn't the cause of it there was much more going on just besides the relationship um So what's this devil about? I think this person also is rethinking what it means to be a good partner, a, a, a really good partner, like truly, not just like um, we're in a relationship and we have roles. This is someone who's really figuring out how to take care of themselves so that they can eventually take care of another person. But this connection wore them the heck out because of personal stuff going on, not because of the relationship per se. There's a lot more going on for them personally that you might not have known about. What's this devil card about? Mm. 
Mm -hmm, good for them. Uh, King of Swords. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Good for you, Pisces. Okay, so here's the thing. They're getting a handle on their life. And if they had something to tell you, it'd be, look, uh, one thing I didn't know, I just everything was hitting me at once, and I needed to take a breather and heal. Um, and I'm figuring out my life right now, and I'm taking care of myself, and I plan to get a handle on the crap that was affecting me and holding me back. And I, I plan to make it my... You know, I plan to just, I plan to handle business, but it's, I need to handle business. So their lack of attention, if you're kind of starting to drift apart or just connection with you is um, because they've realized that they have got some stuff they've got to figure out in their own life. They're working on being happy. They're working on resolving past issues. And this is a time of getting just perspective and their life leveling out. It wasn't that their relationship was hard. It was, it was that they had some things that were hard and it presented in the relationship. So it's not that you were taxing or a burden. It was that this obligation added to it for them. And they, it just kind of blew up and spiraled. Could be dealing with Cancerian, Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn. Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Aries. Who aren't you dealing with? Good gracious. <laughs> so each of you are kind of in this, I got to take care of myself right now mode. I feel like you're like, yeah, you know what? You take all the time you need person because I am also kind of regaining after this. I am doing my own thing and I'm happy for it. And I'm okay, and my life is good, and let's not rock the boat. Yeah. So we've got two sixes here. So this is, okay. What else for Pisces? This is, you, you two are better apart than you are together right now because you're both dealing with stuff. Um, you're, everything's leveled out for you or it should have. So it's almost like uh, leave it alone, let it lie. But it's one of those things where if you two were to get back together or to take things further, if you are kind of toying with the idea or wondering what the rift is about. It's not the time for it. This is you needing to stay the course, things being what they are as far as stability and um, just even keel. Don't rock the boat. Let, let them do them and work their business out. Um, they need to be able to be, this. your person Pisces needs to be able to be happy on their own instead of looking to you to provide that for them. They put a lot on your shoulders. Um, I think they realize that because you left or you two not being in partnership, they still realize that they had a very heavy weight. And so they, their focus has shifted from kind of trying to control things in a relationship and you need to make me happy and you need to make me feel safe and all this, whatever, to them being able to do that for themselves. There could be the possibility of friendship here. Um, not just yet, but there, you two could come back around to kind of, you know, like, okay, I see you, I see who you are, I get you, but we're not going there again. But, uh, you know, I haven't, since I've gone through my own issues and I'm kind of dealing with my own stuff, I now understand and respect you Pisces, whereas I didn't before. This is someone that's realizing it wasn't you, it was them. And so that's where their focus is right now that they're really trying to sort their life out. They've reached a turning point. They understand that they need to take much better care of themselves mentally and emotionally and physically, even financially. And so that's where their focus is. And they, they're trying to get a handle on that. Don't be surprised if they reach out and apologize to you. Not expecting anything, but that might be part of their course correcting in their life. Like they might, you might hear from them randomly out of the blue and 
them just going, okay, I get it now. And that might, that's what I'm, that's why I'm saying that you, there might be a potential for friendship later on is because this person's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I get it. I'm sorry. I realized that I put way too much responsibility on you and I wore myself out. So my healing is not because you were a burden or you, you know, it's because I had all this stuff going on that I blamed you for, but then you're gone and I'm still going through it and I'm trying to get a handle on that now. And I'm realizing it had to do with me, not with what was done to me or you did to me. Nobody did anything. It's, it was me. What's this lover is about? Knight of Cups. Look at that. So what's, what's going on here? Are we toying with reconciliation? Don't do it. It's not the time for it. If you're thinking about being able to finally get back together with this person, now is not the time. After they go through with this, yes. During, no, you will be a hindrance, you will be a distraction, and you'll end up right back where you were three months ago or right before the rift. Um, so don't do it. Now is not the time to, to entertain that or to consider that. The possibility is there, but we're talking like a year or two out. This person's going through some heavy-duty stuff, trying to get a handle on it, trying to see through all the BS. Might even be talking to somebody. They might even be in counseling or therapy talking to somebody um, trying to get through their business. Let them. They'll be better for it. They'll be a better partner for it. If you're still even interested in them. But right now, don't. And don't even toy with the idea of being friends right now because you won't, um, you won't be able to separate it. You, you two will become a distraction to each other. If you're trying to just be friends, it's not going to work. Don't do it. Right now, you both need to be focused on taking care of yourself. And if there's anything to be done, um, well, let you two stay under yourselves and do your own thing. And any kind of communication or involvement should be kept to a minimum so that the focus can be on your own lives and both of you getting back to where you want to be after the fallout with each other. All right. And I'm not saying that for, you know, big sister advice. I'm saying that because that's what's showing here. Each of you need to focus on yourselves before you two can join again. What else for Pisces? If you do, it'll be up to you. Whoopsie. If you do, it'll be up to you. Um, but it, now is not the time for it. All right. What else for Pisces? This person's had some kind of, um, just saying, I'm not for nothing, and it's showing up here. This person has had some kind of epiphany or a couple of epiphanies. They, whatever they didn't, whatever kept them so uh, before, they now have like this, they realize what it was. It's like their, their focus has shifted. They get it now. There's been some kind of realization or breakthrough that they understand now. And they're, they're working on, on being able to just kind of be satisfied with who they are and comfortable in their own skin and be happy um, or at least content. And it's almost like their, their focus is on their own future, but they're still, I don't know how, but they're still going to find their way back to you. There's you two, you two aren't done with each other. You are for now, but down the road, you're going to reconnect. Whether that's going to be romantic or friendship is going to be up to you. Um, because I think you're, part of the reason why your person is really wanting to get a handle on their life is because they do still, deep down, want a reconciliation with you. Not now. They know they're not ready and they know that, and, and things are happening for them now. The, finally, this word finally keeps coming up. So it, it wouldn't be right now for them anyway. Um, they, there's stuff they want to do and focus on and they're, they've been making progress. So that's really encouraging for them. But I think down the road, eventually this is what they want, but now is not the time for this. You two would end up right back where you were. It, you, honestly, it's almost like they're going through some kind of recovery or rehab, um, because you are, you, you got an apology coming. And that might be part of that 
recovery or, you know, one of the things that, you, you know, you atone, you reach out, you apologize, you take responsibility. So this very well could be someone while they're working on their own business, reaches out and extends an apology to you. What else for Pisces? Mm. The underworld where all things pause and begin again. This is someone going through a transformation, a rebirth. There's, there is massive change afoot, not because of what has been done to them. This is not something coming out of the clouds and bam, everything's different. This is someone that is kind of gone to seed and regrow, like they coming out of the ashes. They're rebuilding. This is someone that's going through kind of the dark night and coming out of it and on the other side with new perspective. Um, a different way of seeing things much more, I was going to say stable, but the word serene comes to mind. So this is someone that's doing a lot of major self work and it's almost like they'd say, all right, don't count me out, but don't count on me right now. But for the future, don't count me out. Just right now, don't count on me. The choice will be yours, Pisces. What else for Pisces? You know, and if I just the thing too though is I feel like you're never far from their thoughts, duh, right? Um, and that they feel like someday, but not right now, but someday. Like this is all kind of for you, but not really. Like they want to be a better partner, so it's almost like they want to do over. That's what it is. It's like they're doing this now, and then they hope to get the chance to be the new and improved version in the future. But right now, no. But it, okay. All right, so we got six of pentacles reversed, six of cups. Aha, uh -huh. this is someone that is focused on themselves, um, kind of getting themselves out of where they were, like whatever hole they dug themselves into, this is someone that is climbing out of that and really trying to deal with past issues that have been holding them back and have been keeping them like just from not progressing, not being able to be their best self, basically. They're, this is someone trying to deal with their crap. So, I mean, God bless them. Um, that's not easy. And it looks like they're really almost wanting to attack it because they want to understand. And they might even, like I said, be going to counseling or, or talking to someone on a regular basis that they trust or really searching for these answers so that they can understand them. Uh, their issues. It takes guts. Really. And to think that you might benefit from that one day, like that they're doing this all because of the relationship they had with you. They're just like, whoa, I don't ever want to feel that way again or go through that again. And I'm, I'm mortified that I did that to somebody or, you know, so could be a lot worse. <laughs> My hat's off to them. That's pretty brave. And this is all about you um, taking the time that that you have right now too. I mean, this is not about like you sitting there tapping your foot, you know, with your arms folded or whatever. This is you getting to kind of rebuild and have the pressure off of you as well because this person was no picnic. There, there was a lot of, uh, you probably were worn the hell out after dealing with them. So this is a time for you to be able to rebuild and just stay the course and heal again don't be surprised if that apology comes though it's like i'm sorry I, I i'm sorry that i was this way or that would be something wouldn't it <laughs> okay all right pisces you keep doing you this is not the time for this relationship um you got an apology coming but this person is completely focused on rebuilding and on themselves right now so you keep doing you and focusing on your self-care all right. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.